from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Friday, December the 10th. 2021. We open with Israeli Defense Minister Benny Gantz's meeting yesterday with U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken in Washington. Gantz wrote, after the sit-down, we touched on challenges and opportunities of common strategic importance, including the growing threat of Iranian nuclear and hegemonic aspirations vis-a-vis -vis opportunities to expand peace and normalization in the region. During the meeting, Gantz tweeted, Secretary Blinken and I emphasized that while the threats to our security and our way of life continue to increase around us, one thing remains constant, the unbreakable bond between the U.S. and Israel. Blinken said of the meeting, we had a fruitful discussion about the U.S. commitment to Israeli security, regional challenges, and improving the lives of Israelis and Palestinians alike. Israel's Minister of Agriculture, Oded Forer, was also in Washington recently, where he met with Vice President of the World Bank, Jürgen Vogel, on creating an innovation center for desert agriculture in Israel's Negev. Also meeting with U.S. Deputy Secretary of Agriculture, Dr. Jewel Branau, on issues like global warming and food security. Forer also signed a memorandum of understanding with the University of Maryland and the Baltimore Marine Research Institute on collaborating on aquaculture, producing food from the sea. Forer stopped in New York City as well, joined by Israel's Deputy Council General in New York, Yisrael Nitzan, who shared photos from the Union Square Green Market, where he tweeted, We heard from the environmental nonprofit Grow NYC about their work in promoting environmental education and sustainability. Well, Jewish organizations are outraged over recent comments made by Zara Bilou, executive director of the San Francisco branch of CARE, the Council on American Islamic Relations, which is America's largest Muslim civil rights organization. Speaking at an annual conference of American Muslims for Palestine last month, excerpts of which were republished by the website Israeli Cool last week, Bilou claimed, among other things, that Zionists are behind Islamophobia, that they want to harm Muslims, telling those gathered to oppose whom she calls the polite Zionists, referring by name to the Anti-Defamation League, the Jewish Federations, Hillel, and so-called Zionist synagogues, also claiming that American police officers who engage in police brutality are trained by the IDF. CEO of the ADL, Jonathan Greenblatt, called on CARE National to condemn Bilou, he tweeted, for this awful, unapologetic bigotry and any organization that claims to fight for social justice, he said, should cut ties with anyone who spouts such hate. The federations wrote, we call on people of all faiths to reject these outrageous statements, which we will not allow to undermine our long history of cooperation and friendship with the American Muslim community. Israel and Morocco last night celebrated the first anniversary of the country's renewed ties under the Abraham Accords. Envoys Michael Herzog and Princess Lala Jumala led a special event in Washington to mark the milestone. Herzog saying, our partnership is about peace and advancement and will spread good in the region. Together, he said, we can advance a joint vision of a stable, thriving, and peaceful Middle East. Jumala spoke of her country's brave step to renew diplomatic relations with Israel, opening, she said, new paths for cooperation. Taking a look at our programming for tonight on JBS for Friday, December the 10th, live Shabbat services are coming up from New York City's Central Synagogue, followed by Shabbat services from the Hampton Synagogue. At 8.30, Israelis in concert. At 9, the film Deadly Honor, which examines the phenomenon of honor killings. At 10, meet the heroic women who are keeping Israel safe on FIDF Live. At 10.30, a replay from the Hampton Synagogue services, followed by a replay from Central Synagogue. And coming up next, a look at this week's Torah portion.
And that's the JBS News Update for Friday, December the 10th, 2021. I'm Tisha Bader. I will be off this coming Monday. Micah Halpern will be filling in. Stay healthy, stay well, and Shabbat Shalom.